Aquarius, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. This is the what you need to know in the next 72 hour readings. If you haven't already and you're new here, welcome. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And please join me over um, on my live sessions here on YouTube um, every other Friday for TGIF Free Question Fridays if you guys are interested in that. Um, the next one will be on the 1111 portal, 6.30 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. If you guys are interested in um, participating in the free subs uh, in the subscriber giveaway for a free Sacral Chakra Oracle deck, that will be in the description box below as well. Um, the instructions you need as well as my TikTok, Instagram, and website. Um, I started a new segment on Instagram as well, guys called stop trying to make it make sense if um you guys are interested it's for healing from abusive and narcissistic relationships of all kinds guys not just romantic um if you want to join me there all right and if you want to book a session you could with me you can do that via the website or you can do that um by dm me dming me directly on instagram all right let's see what's going on we have self-love here. We have the energy exchange. Six of Pentacles energy. You could be dealing with um, a Taurus sexuality here. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Desires here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. And then the Diet card. Queen of Swords energy. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Connection under the deck. Um, could be dealing with a Pisces. Aquarius, you're in this total energy of being in your own bubble. You're very much loving on yourself. You're very much giving you the love that you need, that you deserve. Some of you guys may be taking a little bit of a celibacy gr uh, break. Um, definitely not giving your energy to everyone right now. With desires here, death card energy. Um, you could be going through some type of transformation here. Some of you guys may be going through um, some type of legal or court proceedings here with the Queen of Swords. Um, that's definitely going to come out in your favor here. I feel like you're definitely being very analytical, um, very strategic, and very wise about the way that you're approaching this uh, situation here. Um, some of you guys might be dealing with some type of sexual harassment case here. Um, that That's definitely my, uh, maybe going in your favor as well. Uh, clarify self-love. The Ten of Swords here. So yeah, some of you guys may have lost something or someone very quickly and very unjustly could be a it could be a gemini here with the ten of swords here um but something def there was definitely a harsh ending here possibly with a gemini or a leo um i feel like you prefer not to talk about it aquarius um because they're really highlighting the sword that's on her throat for me right now like you are not talking about this ending. You're not talking about how harsh it was. You're not talking about how much it hurt. Um, this person definitely stabbed you in the heart. Whoever it is that you were dealing with. Or um, if you were dealing with a company of some sort. This person or th this establishment definitely stabbed you in the back. You were um, very much taken advantage of Aquarius. Clarify energy exchange. You were def you were definitely giving giving to your detriment. Look, the six of pentacles. Clarifying the six of pentacles. You were doing too much. You are doing way too much for way too little. They couldn't afford your services. Is what it was. Whatever uh, services that you do provide, whether you're working um, for a business here, Aquarius, or you're running your own business, um, you are having a hard time manifesting people who could really um, pay you your dollar's worth. Clarify sexuality.
the three of pentacles so now you're basically you're manifesting yourself a new um something new a new contract so either a new project a new collaboration or a new job here with the six and the three of pentacles um that's the nine of pentacles here it could definitely be a project um your entrepreneurship is definitely on high um now that you've you've dealt with this harsh harsh and uh, harsh ending with the sun in gemini there is a brighter day so just um allow yourself to balance this karma out whatever it is with this soul contract and let it end because it was meant to come to an end anyways and don't allow it to allow don't allow it to make you grow cold or bitter like you st you still have to have this connection with source you still have to have this con connection with your higher self yeah with the two of pentacles this person may have juggled you but it had everything to do with them and nothing to do with you with the three of pentacles and the two of pentacles it's the five of pentacles this person is marrying this energy of missing you as well they just are very prideful and very egotistical so they're not going to admit it to you clarify desires uh -huh, the ten of cups in the in the reverse they're very unhappy they're very unhappy that they lost you aquarius so don't let this person's ego or don't let this person's uh, fake ass facade of happiness um be a killjoy in your world because they're lying to themselves they're lying to their family they're lying to the masses that they're happy here aquarius because they're not six five four as i was saying that like it's bullshit with the ten of cups in the reverse it's all for show clarify the diet here for pentacles some of them are really like faking the funk with the twin here like somebody's really like out there like this is my twin flame this is my forever person this is my spiritual person or whatever like um kingdom spouse there's so many different fucking things but with the sun card here somebody is going to come to a quick realization of all the red flags that I feel like Source was waving in their face that they were not listening to. And with the King to the Queen of Swords and the Justice card here, they're going to realize that actually you were the intellectual match for them. And you were their son and you were their happiness and you were their enlightenment and they chose somebody else over you. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra or have Libra placements here, Aquarius. But... Um, this harsh ending was not what you were expecting and it really did hurt um but with the rainbow here they're really they're really highlighting that there is a rainbow after the rain so i feel like you really um shed heavy tears over this person aquarius but just know that you're manifesting something better for you you're manifesting a brand new um a brand new life for yourself well, this person is faking the funk over here playing house with with this karmic partner that they decided to take instead of you you're going to be playing happy happy um businesswoman happy businessman happy entrepreneur with the nine of pentacles manifesting all these great projects and all these great um collaborations and making money while this person is pretending to be a happy family with with this with this karmic person with this karmic um relationship all right that's what i have for you Aquarius. let's do some final messages here from the isis oracle like that nine of pentacles energy again flower of life divine creativity and manifestation goddess of ten thousand names under the under the deck endless emanation emanations of the priestess this person is dreaming about you constantly constantly like they see you they you may not believe that they see you but they see you and they see you blowing up and glowing up and all of that good shit and they're gonna see when you're manifesting all of these projects and all of this money worthwhile into your sphere because they rejected you like they're not gonna realize until it's too late that you were their blessing in disguise and it sucks because not everybody is just you're just not for everybody you know 
and you tried to give this person the benefit of the doubt and it didn't work so now you're going to move forward happy healthy and single 10 10 as i was saying that it says divine creativity and manifestation you're entering a fertile period of your life focus on your innate creativity and how potent this is becoming and watch it grow rapidly you're guided to think of yourself as a creative being and to surrender your control over how things will manifest instead just allow them to do so don't resist change instead flow and let it happen now is a time for your blossoming now is the time for your glow up aquarius allow this person to drool over you over a, a drool over you from afar because when they had the chance to be a part of your life they treated you like you were second best or like you weren't anything like you were a no-name nobody and now it's it's like basically you get to treat them the same i'm pretty sure you're gonna have more compassion for them aquarius but at the same time you're just gonna be like no like you're denied access to me because when you had the access to me you treated me poorly and that's just the end of it that's the way love goes all right that's what i have for you aquarius and i hope this helps bye